Adele in Sandland, a tune book by Claude Ponty. Mama takes Adele to the park. Adele is sitting on the stroller, and we see a dog is looking at the snail, and here's a pigeon drinking water from a puddle. There are lots of kids in the sandbox, lots and lots and lots of kids. Adele's stuffed doll, Stuffy, stays with Mama. Adele looks for a place to dig. Stuffy is here. Adele feels her pal. She turns it upside down and taps. Tap, tap, tap. Who's knocking? Asks Sandy. He comes out to see. Do you see, Sandy with a big nose? And Stuffy. He is standing up. The masked chicky comes out of the pail too. He says hi to Stuffy. Chicky is here. And do you notice, the trees have become like birds, and those birds are flying away. Sandy does the hello, I'm glad to meet you dance for Adele. It's beautiful. And Sandy is kissing Adele's hand. A sand dragon surprises them. Wow! Do you see those letters? Y U M. They all have sharp teeth. With a flick of his tongue, he eats them all up. The friends fall and crash into cages. A verbo gets free. He says thank you. And waves goodbye. They walk on King's Road. The king likes to walk barefoot on the heads of his people. The friends give the people books and pots. And pens to cover their heads. An angry policeman takes them to the king. The king screams, "Listen to me! I'm locking you up in a cage, bird." No one will ever hear from you again. So now we see the colorful fish, and bird, and even clouds and pillows. They all have earplugs. How can they hear from Adele?
What can she do? Adele breaks into song, an ear splitting song. It sets the friends free. She grabs a fluffy cloud, a cloud of fluffy cheeks. The cloud of fluffy cheeks carry the masked cheeky Adele and Sandy and Stuffy away. Where are they going? They touch the ground lightly and tickle it. The ground shakes with laughter and brushes them away. Do you see the smile of the ground? They land on the ice at the top of the world. Adele is very cold in her summer dress. Some furbos come out to say hello. You see, Adele is feeling freezing cold. One furbo says, You helped me. Now we will help you. The fur balls make them warm and cozy. The ice and icy snow turns into ice cream pops. Do you see? Those are chocolate ice cream pops. The ice melts into an ice cube. Our friends worry about being erased because there are so many erasers in the sky now. Look, a hot dog tree. We're saved, Adele says. Let's climb on. The hot dog says, Don't wake up our king and queen. They'll cook us. You're too cute to eat, says Adele. Sandy is a sand man. He'll keep them asleep. Now I'm hungry, says Adele, but finding land is as easy as pie. Now a pie with two long legs is carrying them to a special place. They come to an island, not a desert island, but a dessert island. Yummy! Eat up now, says Adele. Who knows what will happen next? So they all enjoy all kinds of dessert. Maybe this nose knows, says the masked cheek. Do you see a nose here? A very big nose. I've seen a running nose, but I never saw a flying nose, says Adele. 
Let's get in. And the nose is carrying a chocolate dessert. It is the nose of the giant snack man. Is trained to bring him sweets. And the big hand of the giant is bringing back the nose to his face. Hey, my nose is stuffed up," says the snack man. He opens his mouth to sneeze. His jaw locks, and our friends slide out. After every adventure, it's time to go home. Adele finds a tunnel. And do you see, Sandy? He finds a partner. Tano always takes you somewhere. This one takes her back to Mama. Mama says it's snack time. But Adele says, "No, thank you. I'm full." The end.